Stun them both. Touch of death. Drop this. Touch of death. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I'm bringing you some education with 2v2. Pretty much where I kind of go through all my plays, what's going through my mind in real time so you can see what's what I'm thinking about. And today I'm bringing you some games versus Outlaw Rogues. And I don't know why there aren't many more Outlaw Rogues out there. Because in twos, maybe not threes, but in twos, Outlaw Rogues I feel are insane. Uh, I see a lot of Outlaw Rogues on EU, but I don't see many on NA. Thankfully, there were a few games that I had versus Outlaw Rogues and... I decided to put them together and kind of help anyone who might be struggling. Maybe there's not many Outlaw Rogues at low rating or even high rating, but hopefully if you came to Outlaw Rogue, this video will help you. First, I want to go over my talents versus Outlaw Rogues. Now, this is twos, but I'd probably be playing the same talents in threes, so just keep that in mind. Uh, these are my regular talents right here. Nothing really changes. You, depending on what, if you're playing threes, maybe you want to go Diffuse Magic if it's like Outlaw Rogue boomy or something like that or shadow priest but for the most part healing elixir should be good enough and then everything else is pretty much the same for pvp talents the this is what i run versus outlaw rogues i think they're mostly physical damage so peace weaver doesn't get much value so that's why you want to use grapple weapon and i'll talk about when to use grapple weapon after i go over talents eminence is again probably the most important talent you could run in this matchup versus any rogue spec but especially versus outlaw rogues um, i would eminence is definitely the best and then this last one is really up to you i like chrysalis um if you don't want to get purged out if they're playing with a priest or a resto shaman you can play dome and mist if you don't want to get kicked you can play zen focus t you can play dematerialize if you don't want to die i i mean it, it's very flexible this last I, in one of these games i played thunderous focus t so like this third slot really is up to you but for the safer side i play chrysalis there's only one kick if it's rogue priest so there's really not much value you're gonna get out of it now how to play around a rogue the first thing you want to do is positioning this is the most important thing for Zala rogues you don't want to stack on your teammate you don't you don't want to stack on any teammate the reason for this is because they have an ability called blade fury which they can activate they can toggle it on and off and if i'm stacked up on my teammate right here let's just say this is my teammate with a skull what that does is they're going to activate blade fury and all their single target damage is going to do 40 percent of the damage it does to enemies around them so I, we, I actually lost one of these games versus an outlaw rogue because I was just stacked on my teammate. We were kind of just stacked up and I was trying to do some damage, trying to heal and everything. And they were kind of focusing me and we got cleaved down so hard. I mean, it was literally the rogue's top damage. So keep that in mind. You don't want to stack. So what you want to do, this is your teammate. You want to play, you want to play 40 yards out. You're, you don't want to mess around. You're not, you're not playing around. The next thing you want to do is you want to look out for adrenaline rush. Now, Adrenaline Rush is a three minute cooldown, so obviously you should react accordingly, um, but it, it does a lot of damage. It increased their energy regeneration, so they're gonna do a lot of damage. What you wanna do is you wanna react with with CC, is what I normally try to do. So first thing I would try to do is I would, if I'm not stunned, I would disarm, and I don't think I can disarm these targets, I can't. I would disarm these targets, or disarm the rogue, and normally that nets a trinket, and if they trinket, that's awesome, because you can follow it up with the leg sweep. And if they don't trigger the disarm, you still follow it up with the leg sweep after the disarm, and then you can in cap. Um, if you're playing with a warrior, use fear after that. Or if you're playing with a warlock, use fear. If you're playing with anything else, you know, any kind of CC off that is good. The last important thing versus outlaw rogues is don't please don't waste your port. Don't waste your port. Um, keep your port. I would say, let's just say, I don't know, this is where the fight's at. Keep your port LOS right here behind a pillar but don't stack on your port and what you want to do is you just want to kind of pour in, like halfway through your teammate and your port that way if the rogue because the rogue can swap to you with their grapple grappling hook i think they have the grapple hook they can grapple hook to you and stun you and then what you're gonna do is you just port and if they get back to you because they, they can't get back to you pretty quickly you can just drop on the on the pillar um and then just play rig around the rose and around the pillar and that is pretty much it hopefully this is helpful for any time you cure into outlaw rogue i know that this spec really isn't the most popular but it still really is good and you kind of want to you, you want to know what to do versus certain specs you know you don't want to queue into an outlaw rogue in two's game and just say well i guess we, we lose this because i don't know anything about outlaw rogues and hopefully this is helpful kind of gives you some background on how to play against them and that is pretty much it if you have any questions please let me know I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have and that's it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Sapped. <clears throat> if they go my Warlock, I don't know if that's going to end well for him. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Oh, that's that's a lot. We're going to disarm that. Can I just knock this pally? Drop this. Touch of death. 
This guy might try to kick me. If he does, I just go leg sweep him. He trinkets in. Okay. We lose to this guy. We lost to this guy before. So, like, you know. I'm just going to port this. Cloak. Please just let me get this heal off. All right. We got some of it. Incap the rogue, though. Dispel the poisons. I can't get that Hodge, which kind of sucks. Okay. I think I can kite better on this map, too. DR cheap shot. So great. So great. Blind. These guys are uh, DR stummy, which is fine. Dispel. Incap Rogue here on his mobility. I don't know what the hell that mobility is, but I'm also going to leg sweep him off after his uh, evasion. And I'm out of there. I'm oh no, we crypto. I'm piecing. I got my Nikes on. I'm out. Disarm the rogue here. Disarm. Juke the rogue again. So, I don't know if this rogue has, like, got one kick off. But, oh, nice. That's good. That's a good rot by the Mistweaver. That's a really heads up play right there. I don't know what this Mistweaver's drinking, but. Experience man. Definitely in the zone. Can I just do damage to this guy? I'm just going to do damage here, right? I got Yulon healing up. Disarm the rogue here on his uh, adrenaline rush. Nice grip. That's actually a really good grip. Oh, we actually can kill this pally here. I'm pretty sure. Incap pally. Stun them both. Touch death. It's really, really, really bad. I'm I just. Came, did I, was it bad to instantly wall there? I, maybe it was. I don't know actually. I'm just gonna manatee and heal here. Oh, we get kicked. So we just flesh grabbed, right? Incap this. They didn't death it. So we're going to go for a song. That's Cloak. Stun here. I got on the rogue. Oh. I got on the rogue there. Just on the rogue here. On uh, AD. Or AR. Adrenaline Rush. AR. I took the rogue there. I kind of ported. I think this was a bad port. Now that I'm. Uh, now that I'm mulling it over. I feel like that was a bad port. But we'll see if we die here. Nice fear. Incap off this. Oh, damn. You're right here. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna heal real quick around this corner. Replace my port. All right, we got port back. I was just kind of buying time for my port. I have no song for this. And there's evasion? Wait, what the hell? How does this guy have evasion back? Pain sub as well. All right, that's really, really, really good for us. Just on the rogue here. I couldn't. Port. Ported. Power infusion. I can disarm the rogue off this. Disarm the rogue. All right, so here's what's going to happen. There's faint. As soon as faint ends, we're going to stun. I lied. I go now. And we get a full song. There's a blind. I'm scared to get kicked. Spell the mind games. So I'm just trying to max range right now and just chill. Juke the kick there. Um, I have disarm back, so if we get kicked, we're fine. I'm going to try to get close enough. Um, actually, here we go. Stun, stun this guy. I'm going to incap the priest. I might actually have to trigger this, which is bad. Revival here. Port. My lord. 